Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with a Z83 II Mini Windows 10 PC box. As you can see, we have an Atom Z8350 CPU. It's a quad core clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. Two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, uh, Wi-Fi AC, Ethernet, two USB 2.0 ports, one USB 3.0 port. This thing's pretty cool. I've been super busy the last few days, so I haven't had a lot of time to mess with it. Um, I just kind of wanted to do this video to tell you guys I will be making a lot of videos this weekend. I have tomorrow free, and if we get snow here, we're going to be stuck in the house. So I'll be making some videos for you guys. But today, I just wanted to show you I got Laka up and running. Well, this is not Laka. This is RetroArch for Windows, and it runs great. N64 performance within RetroArch is not great. I would rather use Project 64 1.6. And again, Sony PlayStation emulation within RetroArch is not great either on this box. If you use a standalone PlayStation 1 emulator, you should be fine running these games at 60 FPS. But for older consoles and arcade machines, RetroArch is going to be amazing on this little box. Some N64 games run great. But anything from the old Atari 800 on up to SNES, you can run in here. I don't have a lot set up right now because I've been really busy. I do have some CPS1 games I just wanted to test out. FPS is listed in the bottom left hand corner. So this is Red Earth. CPS3 game. And we're just using the basic Final Burn Alpha core for it. Throw some coins in. And everybody chooses Leo, so. And it's just so easy to get this up and running on this little tiny Windows machine here. Uh, the standalone Laka build also runs on here, but you need to run the 64-bit EFI version. And you can back right out of here. We'll just close this game. It'll bring us right back, and we'll do Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Fight for the Future. I have not tested this game. When we go into here, it's going to ask us what core we want to use. For CPS3, I've just been using Arcade FB Alpha. Throw in a couple coins. Trying to pull it off here. Trying to pull off that last special. There we go. So, works great. SNES and everything's going to be fine within RetroArch, but you will need a standalone emulator to play N64, PlayStation 1. I did test Dolphin, and we're only getting up to 40 FPS. I'll make a video on it if you guys really want to see it. PS2 emulation is horrible. Like I said in the first video when I first reviewed this box, I didn't think it was going to run well. 
Moopin64 is a good emulator for N64, but Project 64 1.6 runs pretty well. And I'm just going to show you really quick here. I think I got it somewhere. I should have put an icon on the desktop here. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to play Conker's Bad Fur Day. And I don't have it full screen. I'll zoom in a little bit. Works great in full screen, but you can't see the FPS here. Let me restore. There we are. It's actually really good N64 emulation on this little box here. But like I said, I'll be making some videos on this. I should be free this weekend and I'll have a ton of stuff coming out. I appreciate you guys hanging around and like always, thanks for watching.